So today we're looking at our vinyl guard system for sealing and protecting vinyl floor LVT, LVP, any type of vinyl, rubber or laminate flooring. This is a luxury vinyl plank flooring that you see here and is very popular with the wood look finish. But before we seal it, it's important to clean the surface, prep the surface. And to do that, we use one of our cleaners like our neutral gloss clean or you can use our surface treat product if you have large floor areas and you have floor cleaning, floor scrubbing equipment. Typically we add about two ounces to a quart of water or eight ounces to a gallon. That'll be a good amount of cleaner to add for a deep clean. If your floor surface is brand new or is not very dirty, then you can cut that dosage to, down to half. So one ounce per quart four ounces per gallon. You can spray the cleaning solution onto the surface of the floor like we're doing in this test sample or you can mop it on if you're doing larger areas. Now you have the cleaning solution on the floor you want to scrub the floor using a maroon pad or a green pad a scouring pad. If you've got a larger area you can use the 3M uh, SPP pad with your floor machine your side-by-side -side floor scrubbing machine. When you have new LVT or LVP flooring uh, or vinyl flooring, often there's a protective film on the surface, particularly if it's a brand new floor. So what we're trying to do is just to scuff that up a little bit with our scouring pad. We're not trying to remove it. We're just trying to dull the surface down a little bit. After we've scrubbed the floor, we now want to pick up any residue. So you can do that with a damp mop or a damp cloth and make sure that the floor is clean and then allow the surface to dry. So now our floor is nice and dry, typically after two to four hours. Make sure the seams are dry. Uh, you can use floor fans to speed up the drying process. But still we want to be fussy about that floor surface so go around one more time with a dust mop or a swiffer mop just to pick up any dust, any footprints, any pet hair. We don't want to be sealing those down. If you have an old floor, worn out floor, porous floor then you should use our prime seal as the first coat. This is a very fast drying primer that will put a nice uniform seal across the floor and will give a good base for the vinyl guard, the next coat. The prime seal is very easy to use. Just stir it up a little bit. Uh, it's a single component, so you can just put it into a spray bottle or you can put it on a flat mop and then spread it out, typically about a thousand square feet per gallon. So a little bit goes a long way and it will dry in about 30 minutes and then you can go over the top of that with the vinyl guard. Our floor now has a nice layer of prime seal across the floor. This is going to help with uh, waterproofing the seams as well as giving us a good base for the vinyl guard. Once the prime seal is dry after about 30 minutes, tack free, we can go over with the vinyl guard. Now this is a two component material, an A and a B side that you mix together and then you roll or apply on the floor. We have a third component called a reducer for thinning out the product if you're doing large areas and this will be included in the kit. But as we're just doing a sample area here in this video we're only using a small amount of product so we don't need the reducer. Here we're applying a satin finish vinyl guard so that comes in the sample kit with three ounces of A and one ounce of B. So start with the A side, pour that into a mixing cup 
and then add the B side slowly while you're stirring. Now the B side's a little thicker than the A side and it tends to sink to the bottom so make sure that you're getting that B side well stirred into the solution. So we're going to slowly mix the A and the B together. Remember this is a sample kit so there's no reducer. So just keep it mixing for about two minutes and then let it stand for five minutes before you apply the sealer. After the vinyl guard solution has stood for five minutes, you can now roller apply it across the floor. We recommend that you use a 3 8 nap roller. It can be a mini roller if you're doing small areas or cutting in around areas along the walls. Um, if you're doing a larger area, then you want to use a 9 inch roller and uh, even an 18 inch wide roller. The important thing is that it's a 3 8 nap. And make sure you have uh, plenty of solution on the roller and you can spread it out evenly across the floor. Take your time, make sure that you don't miss any areas. It goes down milky but very quickly turns clear. So you want to be careful that you don't miss spots. And then when you finish, you want to finish in one direction. You want to roll in one direction. So you can spread it around to make sure that you've got good coverage, but at the end, you want to finish in one direction. Roll either away from you or towards you. Make sure that you finish or smooth out any roller marks in a section before you move on to another section. As you look across the floor, you can see the vinyl guard will give the surface a wet look finish. This is going to be satin, so that gloss level will reduce, but it's a nice water clear, tough barrier that brings out the wet look and the colors in your vinyl floor.